Puva is a treatment that gets deeper into the skin. It's usually given with a photosensitizing medication that's called Zorolin. And the phototherapy, the light is applied, is UVA. So it goes deeper in the skin and causes, therefore, more sun damage in the skin, or can cause more sun damage. Has a higher risk compared to narrowband UVB to develop other skin cancers, such as squamous cell cancers or basal cell cancers. PUVA was the first light therapy that was established for skin lymphoma. The PUVA is given usually for lesions who are thicker, such as plaques, and won't respond so well to narrowband UVB. There have been large studies uh, published who had shown that it's really effective for skin lymphomas. But given the risk of skin cancers and given that patients have to take a medication, it makes them sensitive to even the daily sunlight. So more and more centers just switch to other alternatives. And so UVA1 is a treatment that's also deeper in the skin. Patients don't need to take Zorolin. So UVA1 is also reaches the skin into deeper levels and it's also ideal for lesions um, that are thicker. It's traditionally given for psoriasis, but more and more centers uh, treat patients with UVA1, usually given on a twice or three times weekly schedule. UVB is the general UVB spectrum and it ranges from 260 or 270 to 320. It's broader than narrowband UVB and has not been as established as narrowband UVB, but it certainly can work effectively for patients who have very thin lesions or chest patches. So in summary, um, the different phototherapies phototherap are based on thickness of the skin lesions, and are based on availability and based on preference and based on other risk factors. If patients had already skin cancer in the past, it's probably better to have a phototherapy that's not getting so deep into the skin and a superficial light therapy may work better.